sofa with this behind me, but uh, yesterday we did some redecoration, reorganizing, and um, you most likely will never see that couch again, but you'll see me here. We'll still do sunroom chats. Um, if you're interested and you still want to see that sofa, I can still record um, with that sofa. It's just, it's on a wall over here.
days ago this week painting the bathroom. They had painted it white with like the ugliest brown trimming at the top. And then they have, so it's like, okay, imagine this, picture this, this whole wall behind me is, it's just like flat, no windows. Half of it down are blue tiles, blue and white tiles. The other half is a normal wall going up to the ceiling. It's white. And then at the top, they have a border that's brown. And <laughs> um, because that was hideous, and we finally, 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 now that I have the time to just do whatever the fuck I want, um, I have dedicated my time to fixing up the house and getting this shit done. So while the producer is working throughout the day, I'm recording my videos, I'm editing my videos, so that's what I'm saying, I'm pre-recording everything as well, just trying to get ahead of myself so that I can keep doing more, um, and so that I have time to fix up the house, so we're gonna be doing some, like, touch-ups to the landscaping, we're gonna add some black mulch into our garden beds throughout the whole house, and decided that we want to um, put black mulch, or I'm just going to say mulch again, black mulch is just, it's so extra. <laughs> We're going to put mulch around the base of all the trees that we have. Um, fix up the fruit trees that we have out here. And I talk a little bit more about that in the next sunroom video, but you know, you get it, you get it. I'm just going to kind of repeat myself because that's what I do when I paint. Um, so I hope you don't mind. situation, which if you are having a bad week, if you're having a bad day, don't worry. We all do, man. We all do. Now this dog is barking. I might have to wait a little bit. I might have to wait. No, but we all have bad days. You're not alone, so never forget that you are not alone. It sounds like there's someone behind me, though, which is, I actually that's probably the one thing that I dislike about this house. I'll go back to you not being alone in a second. You know me, my mind's just rambling off. It's running, man. It's running. We've got a runner. <laughs> no, but one thing I really dislike about this house is that behind us, you see that fence? I don't know if you can actually. There's a fence behind me, so we have a fully fenced yard. And um, there's like some overgrown tree behind us and then a neighborhood like people's backyards and um, so it's like a very thin you could make it a pathway if you wanted but overgrown area and people have been using it as a pathway we didn't know that though when we got the house and we did try to come during the day to see like how loud how busy the neighborhood was because we wanted something quiet and uh, yeah we'll get back to that maybe that'll be the ramble today it's just house searching what do you want in a house all right okay going back to you not being alone though you're definitely not alone i promise i myself even have bad days you think it's always sunshine and rainbows over here hell no <laughs> but uh yeah you're not alone man you're not alone and this i know it sounds stupid and cliche too will pass and um, it does not, I don't want to say it gets easier with whatever, especially because I don't know what situation you're in right now but um, think about it like this this is kind of how I think about um, when I'm stressing out or I'm like having like bad days, bad weeks, months years, I have tried to start thinking in a more I guess uh, I see it in a positive way Maybe you see it in a negative way, and I'm not just, and I'm not coping with it well. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but when I get into conflicts and stuff like that, and I think that they're really big, or even think about if you're heartbroken, okay? This is like the easiest one I feel like people can kind of relate to. You're super heartbroken. You think you'll never find your person. Like, you think that person was your person and whatnot, you know? Like, you're just in the dumb in five years, in ten years, I'm positive that you will have found that next, like, love. So, it just takes time. There you go. Stuff just takes time. So, I know it seems like it's gonna, you know, be a little harsh right now. And it definitely feels like it's 
Thank you.